Welcome to our YouTube show. Follow and subscribe and comment. Cars <laughs> and birdies and stuff. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alexandra Lachlan, and as my Instagram bio states, I travel the world covering and playing golf for Golf Channel. And it has been a heck of a few weeks. It all started in Northern Ireland for the Open Links Invitational, hosted by the RNA with 11 industry colleagues. It was awesome. <laughs> Shot, like, uh, Connor, what's it like playing golf with me? It's uh, emasculating. Emasculating. <laughs> emasculating. <laughs> it was awesome getting to play the course before the pros got there with the grandstands up. And then I went south to County Clare, where I actually later found out my family originated from. And I was there for the Irish Open, met up with a couple of my Irish pals, Niall Horan and Connor Moore. Good afternoon and welcome back to The Hinch, the home of the Irish Open 2019. Beautiful part of Ireland. <laughs> Look who's here. What is is that it recording? Yeah. Hi Alex. It's been recording Hi, time. <laughs> Hi Connor. Hi. <laughs> I was about to eat the pen. <laughs> we do some weird things. This is Guido, my pro today. We've also got Connor Moore. Oh, oh yes. Al Moore. Jimmy's in the group. It's really good. So I'm seeing 17 green, which is actually just in front of 18 tee box. And everyone's kind of having to wait and yell for, and then let the other person hit. But uh, so far, nobody has been hit. <laughs> that's the main thing. <laughs> Honestly, that's kind of surprising. <laughs> What's this camera for? <laughs> Potter, probability of getting a hole in one on this hole. Probability, two chances, slim and none. But listen, we go for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, last night I kind of thought if I did embarrass myself in the first tee, I would just do the surgery laugh and go. <laughs> <laughs> and I have it completely spontaneous. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and you thought you had the shot of the day, didn't you? Something new is kind of like one of those once in a lifetime things that probably will never happen again. <laughs> We're talking about but, how but you well just done. almost drove the green. That's a regular occurrence. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Okay. Polter here on the 18th tee with Art Poulter as well. Um, just after breaking the course record again today. And having said what I want about Tiger, he's never won the Irish Open, so watch out this week. I'm going to crush it. Have it. <laughs> <laughs> See you, mate. See you. Golf is so cool. So after my little stint in Ireland, I hopped across the water and went to a couple more open championship venues in Scotland. Hi. <laughs> All right, so far this week, I have had one, two, three, three flights, only lost one bag. Is it a problem? Sort of, but I just look at it as a uh, shop opportunity. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Come on across, Michael. We are about to tee off at the old course. It's the last tee time of the day on the longest day of the year. So, how many balls should I play? <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I mean, we've got a dog on the golf course. I've been to some cool places now working with Golf Channel. This is the one place that literally will surpass anywhere in the world. It's just cool, I love it. I still can't believe I got a tea time at the old course. So I came to Royal Troon just to walk through the clubhouse, see what it's all about. It's 8.45 at night and they said I could just go out and play. At least I don't have to worry about what side of the road I'm driving on. I wouldn't even do this in a golf cart. 
driving on a course in Scotland. <laughs> okay, so we're walking down basically what is a private road. It's a private road towards the postage stamp at Royal Twin. We've, we're basically sneaking on to the course with permission. Yeah. This is what everyone's been talking about. It's not actually named the eighth hole, it's the postage stamp. So Royal Twin has 17 holes and the postage stamp. <laughs> this is where I am. This is where I need to go. Okay, the shortest hole in Open Championship Golf. I'll take it. A few days later, went over, played in the Scottish Open Pro-Am with the 2018 champ, Brandon Stone. And let's not forget, the guy shot a 60 last year to win the Scottish Open. I don't think he liked my shot on 10, though. <laughs> what is that like? <laughs> but he did love my drive on 9. So at this point, I've done Northern Ireland, Ireland, Scotland, and now it all comes full circle back to Northern Ireland. Headed to the range to start the day. All right, Matt, what are we doing this morning? We're about to go see uh, Miguel Angel Jimenez and uh, watch, his, watch him do his warm up. Yeah, see it in real life. I had to be careful where I was filming that from. And you know what? This is my 700th tournament. That's the key to 700 European tour starts. Practice day. Yep. We're on purgatory. Yep. Number 17. Yep. It's my first time seeing it. And yeah. what are your thoughts? You better drive it straight. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> yeah. And you've got a good group today. Speed, Woodland, yep. Thomas, yep. yourself. Yep. Stacked. Yeah, we got a game going. Me and uh, Jordan versus uh, really? JT and Gary. So. Is that common to do that during a practice round of yeah, a, little a major? Best, little best ball match, uh, keep it exciting, you know. So I've stumbled into a four ball match with some of the best players in the world. What do you think? Where's your ball? So I hope it's not in this trap. Where am I at, JS? Bunker. So. I was in this bunker three how'd, weeks ago. How'd you do? And I did hit the green. You hit the green. So you know what? Wow, Press, pressure's on. <laughs> Any last words of advice? Uh, He's had a pretty good season. He knows what to do. Nice shot. What are the stakes in this match? Good shot. All for bragging rights. You know, that's important. more important. Pride is so much more important. I've followed along on so many rounds, and I have never seen anything like that. What an environment. This is unreal. So working on the first hole, what has been the highlight of the day? Highlight of today, Graham McDowell. Ooh, okay. Or McDowell, however you, wherever you come from. Not gonna lie, it took me a while to get used to the accents. It's such a good experience. And I know that because I'm having the time of my life right now, but some of my best memories of championship golf are waking up in the middle of the night, watching the open. Pretty amazing way to end my time in the UK and Ireland. And there's just something about that tournament that is special. And it's journeys like this where I love what I do. Meeting new people at some of the best golf courses on the planet, connecting with them through the sport that I love, getting to go to places I never would have dreamed of going. We like golf because we want to keep improving, but we love golf because of what it brings us. Adventures and companionship. I'm also going to have to wait until I get back to Ireland for a good pint of Guinness. Oh, From... I love you. Try his Guinness. Oh. Well, I died through chubby. Ah. <laughs> so Welcome good. Welcome to Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs>